and we're oh, back, everyone. We are back. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Laura, what did you think of the show? I thought the show was amazing. Listen, I was, I was kind of jealous. <laughs> why wasn't I there? Tell them why you jealous. <laughs> I mean, you the garments? Did you not see the garments? I was ready. I said I was ready to go. I was like, oh, can, I, can I come in too? Can I come in? I can I can sashay Shantae any day. <laughs> I love it. And plus, I'm craving I'm craving another trip to the you know Caribbean islands. I'm craving a trip internationally. And so go. just the vibe, the overall feeling of you know virtually being there. The experience was amazing. I felt warm. Yes. Yes, so much as we're approaching fall, especially our show is based here in New England. Yes, we were bringing the Caribbean warmth. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love it. I love it. I love it. And guys, I, we want to know how you guys feel about the whole experience. What are your thoughts? I mean, please tell us in the chat. We want to hear from you. Obviously, the people who put on these presentations, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, guys. Virtual experience is not easy. Please let them know. Let us know what your thoughts are. Tell us in the chat because I mean, if I tell you what I feel in the chat, it will be a whole dictionary. You don't. You don't <laughs> what I okay. But I'm seeing in the chat here. We actually do have our our um, creative director, Sparkle Thames. She's in here, so I'm going to bring her on stage yes. and she can share her thoughts on the yes. show as well too. So. Welcome to the stage, everyone. Is our creative BCFW's creative director? This is Sparkle Thames. Sparkle, are you here joining us live and direct? Sparkle, baby, hey. We, there you Hi. go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, Hello. welcome to the show. First of all, <laughs> um, like Laura said, seeing a virtual fashion show is making me sad to not be at a fashion show. Mm. That's number one, but. Um, that yellow dress, there was a yellow dress with a high split. And I was like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, can I have that? <laughs> so I want it. That was Mark McDermott with bridal. It's something about chocolate and yellow. I'm like, yes, bring it, bring it on. So I am sad, but it also made me excited um, for when we do get to be together again, especially the carnival piece. I was like, oh man, it made me, I tried to skip over carnival fever because I knew it couldn't happen this year, but it made me like, oh man. Ugh, it made me miss this. <laughs> but there's always 2021 and Euphoric Mass is giving us what we're looking forward to for 2021, providing and showing that there is hope and things will get better. That's yeah. right. Made me actually want to put on a costume. I've never actually done carnival because I've been shy. But I was like, maybe, maybe next year I'm like yeah. doing a little, doing a little thing. Right. <laughs> Get the Caribbean country and let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> I see in the chat here. Thank you so much, Janet. Yes, um, we had. Uh, she said, "Ladies, we are all awesome and such a wonderful job on this event." Thank you, thank, thank you, you, Janet, for this. Mm -hmm. Seeing the comments here with Elmira. Yep. Okay, hey, Elmira, let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. What else do we have? Pete, thank you so much. You love this platform. This is amazing. It was amazing for us. This is our first time using this platform and it was a great opportunity to just do all of this and have this type of like, we still have a connection still going on and that we're able to present an amazing um, fashion week with strong, beautiful content and also at the same time to give you a fashion show. That's right. And I will say it's also awesome that, you know, we've been doing this for so many years and to, um, you know, COVID's hard, but we got to think about the blessings that come with COVID, um, even though there are some hard times that come with it too. But the fact that this year with this virtual platform, we were able to actually connect with a Caribbean country to showcase people from there is really a blessing and something we've been working towards. So that's awesome. Yes, it was definitely one of my long-term goals and vision and plan in terms of like trying to get um, Caribbean designers to showcase um, at Boston Caribbean Fashion Week as another outlet for them, um, you know, to, to get the word out about what they do and to, to visually show. And for the past couple of years, we've always come close, always come close where there is a designer, but there was always something that just stopped it. 
But interesting way, um, I guess you could call COVID a blessing because we were able to connect in the most powerful way ever with technology. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So next here, BCFW in Jamaica. Woo! Speaking it. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Maria. Oh, wow. Yes, Al. Um, yes, 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 yes to that. We, we will, we shall see. We can Caribbean hop as well. You never know. Destination, let's go. Let's get this on. We can make it happen. But um, so, yes, thank you so much, Sparkle. I just wanted to pull you on just for a quick moment in time. I know you're not prepped for the moment, but we do thank you that you always stay ready for a camera moment. <laughs> so okay. thank you so much, Sparkle Hands, <laughs> our lovely, fabulous creative director. Bye-bye. Awesome. Awesome. So, yes, as we're coming down, um, what else do we have lined up here, Madam MC? <laughs> So right now, I mean, I have my beautiful, beautiful daily gems that I drop at the end of every uh, fashion Car Caribbean Fashion Week. I have my gems that I drop throughout the day. So um, I will do that. And as well as uh, we're going to make announcements for our prizes. And so for those who are who have stayed with us throughout the day, uh, you will be hearing those announcements very, very shortly. But first. I gotta make sure I give my gems. All right, are you guys ready for that? Type in the chat, you ready for her seven gems? Cause this is the year, we're year seven. So she's been giving us day two, day three, and now day four, yes. our MC Laura O's recap event gems of the day. So That's Laura, without right. further ado, please do take it away. All right, uh, my first gem is create, create quality products. Having great ideas are good, but execution is key, all right? Number two, do more with digital, all right? Number three, experiment with video and other formats. Lean into your customer base. Let them get to know you, let them get to know the owner behind the brand. Number four, don't change the end goal, just pivot. Number five, Reimagine, redesign, and revitalize. Think outside the box. Personalize your offerings to match your customer needs. Number six, be sensitive. Pivoting doesn't mean exploit. Understand customer anxiety. And number seven, communication. Communicate with transparency, excuse me. Keep your websites and social media pages up to date. Show your customers how they can connect with you. And those are my seven gems. Well, thank you so much for those lovely, awesome gems. If you agreed with the lovely gems that uh, Laura, MC Laura O has provided us, please do put in the chat um, your hearts or your reactions. We'll love to see those. Those keep us going. And just, we love those. That's our, our digital currency. <laughs> it keeps us alive. Oh, I see a thumbs up. It went in the air. So I do want to thank once again all of our participants for BCFW Expo 2020 Reconstruction of Fashion, all of our many, many speakers. We've had over 25 plus um, speakers that participated over um, these major three days. Um, the, the first day was just us, so you really couldn't count us per se, but you could. Um, so from there, uh, we did have our, our amazing speakers dropping so much wisdom, sharing their personal stories about what's going on with them and the lessons they have learned that they can now pass on to you as well too, which is quite beautiful and amazing. It's the gift that keeps on giving. We have to learn and grow, learn and grow, learn and grow. Do want to thank our event partner, uh, Score Boston, once again as well too, and a special thank you all the way in the Caribbean. <laughs> again, thank you, thank you to Euphoric Mass for showcasing um, your your band launching with us. Uh, Rebel Mass for the connection uh, for the Jamaican Fashion Show, the Jamaican Tourism Board, uh, Matthew Blake. The Rolls Hall, whole entire team for just hosting the fashion show there. All of our participating designers, uh, Lee McLean, uh, Earl Fashion and Branding, um, Polka Dots, Khalil's Hattitude and Closet or Swim, 
Dermot Williams Bridal by Usuri International. The Glam Squad, that was there as well too, in terms of Glam by O'Neill, uh, makeup artist that was there. And then also the photographers and videographer that made, made this possible that you can visually see this, cause uh, yeah, <laughs> that be, they are the also behind the scenes as well too. So special thank you to them as well, because they did a lot of hard work and in, in a matter of a, a quick turnaround for such an amazing fashion show. So I do thank you for that. Um, and then also I do want to thank you. I can't forget. I want to thank you for all those who have been tuning in throughout our week from day one of October 14th, all the way to today. So yeah, yeah. with that, thank you things that we have said, uh, Laura, you gave your gems. That's right. Thank you very much. For, thank you very much for your lovely gems that you gave to us. And um, I think without further ado, I'll be giving my final thoughts as we close out 2020. So I will see you and bid you adieu. <laughs> All right, everyone. I just want to thank you once again for being a part of this event. Um, this was an interesting, interesting scenario and interesting time that we have come together for 2020 and um a lot was learned a lot of lessons have been learned and a lot of um connections were made both nationally on in stateside and internationally as well too so i just want to thank you for that um, my little nuggets that i got away um that i want to give to you as well is uh downtime is an opportunity to recharge so while there's this different types of anxiety that's going on and a lot of uncertainty, just take this time to reflect on you, take care of you, heal you, and use this time to just look at your business of what's going on and figure out, you know what, maybe it's time to focus on this. Maybe it's time to rework this angle and, and take that moment to, to use that as well too and take the time to contemplate on your life and your work and what works and what doesn't work. And don't think of the downtime as a, a bad thing. It's an opportunity to put a nice little system of what's going on with you and figuring out how to make this work and build new streams of passive income. You always hear people talking around, uh, talking about multiple streams of income. Well, now it's about this time that you want to have those multiple streams. And it's a time that you can actually now think about the future and maybe perfect one and work on well, because when one stream is down, at least you can now start the process of this new stream. And that's how it goes from there. So you're not hurting during this time. And always be prepared, be prepared for the industry shifting because of COVID. We're now in the fall and we thought we would come out of this, things will be a little bit better. We didn't know that we'll be here again with so much uncertainty of what's gonna happen to us or what are we gonna do? And here we are and there's speculation and there's a lot of nervousness, but take this time to just prepare yourself and your business for the future and look at what the trends are now and prepare yourself to serve those in need. And then think about what you can do with your skills with little to no resources. You're actually more resourceful than you actually think. Because you may think, well, I don't have this, I don't have this physical item. I don't. The amazing thing is, is your mind and creativity and you can see what can happen and the connections will bloom and grow. And what is the core thing that makes the strong and your story worthwhile connecting and watching? Clients that you have, they're gonna, you know, they may come, they may go, they may not be ready for you, but that doesn't mean that you you don't keep in touch with them. Maybe use this time to just, just connect. There's a reason why they follow you. There's a reason why they're still subscribed to you with your emails. There's a reason why they, they want to be a part of you and follow your journey. Maybe this is not the time to say you're going to push something and sell something. It will happen. The time will come. Don't worry. But use this time to talk about what's going on with you and your business. Because at the same time, it now makes you that much more relatable and in touch of what's going on. Find markets that still have money and serve as that niche. 
um, you want to leverage, you want to be leveraging that into directions for what the vision that you have. And then there's always going to be ups and downs in fashion. Always going to be ups and downs. But you just roll with it and you just take it one step at a time. And not being in debt and having emergency savings is a good idea for a variety of situations. So we're seeing now it's like, uh oh, I'm now tapping into this emergency fund. But once we're at a level of being okay, start putting away, start to save, save money and build a buffer that is taking care of the bills for your personal and for your business as well so that you're not worried about hurting and where's my next dollar going to come from and then that you also have something that's there. Um, I hope that this was helpful information for you uh, for this entire week. In terms of all the videos that you've seen throughout our, our entire fashion week, um, you will see um, them on the website. Give, a, give me about mm, a week <laughs> to get it up on my website on bostoncfw.com. Just give me some time. Um, I will mention when they are all there on the newsletter and on the website and on Instagram and all social media platforms. I will let you know where you can catch those replays so you're not missing anything at all. And you can always share it again. And then also at the same time too, they will also be on our YouTube channel, Boston Caribbean Fashion Week. So if you want to hop over there and, and subscribe, I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> so there's that. But thank you once again for participating as a viewer, being a part of this. I hope you enjoyed all our social tables and connecting with people from here, there, and everywhere in between. You got some great gems from all of our presentations today. And, and just enjoy and, and don't worry. 2020 has been rough, but there's blessings along the way. And it's just up to you to figure out what those blessings are for yourself. And always remember 2021, I'm looking at you. We're going to have some fun. So this has been BCFW Expo 2020 Reconstruction of Fashion. This was the year of reimagine, redesign, and revitalize. I'm Althea Blackford and I will see you in 2021. Take care.